I mean, listen, me and Joe Button aren't, you know, we're not friends like that. We're not like, we didn't go to the same fucking high school. The reason I dissed him is actually a lot more petty than that. Okay. The reason that I dissed him is because he got on, first he said, first, first when he said, I, I'm, the, I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shea 45 or whatever he said, right? Kamikaze interview part two just dropped. I watched it about 10 times before I did this. Maybe more. I'm just gonna not exaggerate this shit, but I did watch that shit over 10 times. Now, after watching the interview, things is, he's explaining a lot of stuff, but I'm still kind of confused. I'm wondering, are you gonna respond to Kelly, bro? You feel me? And at the end of it, he insinuate that he is gonna answer, but this is the thing. He doesn't want to fire a shot and then other people coming after him. He wants to know whose enemies are. You feel me? So that what he did, it's like, you know what I mean? He's testing the waters and see what the fuck is going on over there. And now he's gonna attack. So who the fuck? If Joe Budden answer, it's gonna be Joe Budden and Kelly getting that shit. If only Kelly answer, it's gonna be Kelly getting that shit and Kelly gonna be getting slaughtered because he's gonna answer to that shit. Even though he says he don't think that shit was a diss, but listening to this interview, Eminem cares what the fans think and the fans want Eminem to respond. So I think he will respond because the fans want Eminem to respond. Me as a fan, I want Eminem to smoke Kelly real quick or slap him up, smack him up. Know what I mean? Just a little fandomonium thing. Let me see what Kelly made out of. Let me see if that nigga could box or he could dance with the champ. But Eminem then breaks down the reason why he diss MGK. The reason why he diss MGK is not the Haley comment. He says it's because of the rap god. You're not... Kelly insinuating that Eminem is not the rap god. And you know, Eminem, he's damn near in everybody's top five. And if you want to take him out, everybody's top five, that's very disrespectful. And I understand that shit because I was like, man, somebody saying your daughter look good, you should want people to say your daughter look good. You shouldn't want them to say she don't look good. Now, that piece will definitely somebody coming for your legacy. It's like when Meek said Drake had a ghost rider and all this shit. You know what I mean? That's like somebody trying to erase what you did, basically. That's like somebody, you showing somebody your diploma and they're like, oh, that shit fake. That didn't, nigga didn't go to school for that shit. So that's what it is. So he was trying to solidify his name. That's why he's coming out making these statements and he's clearing up a lot of stuff. And I think this, it's modern day, this is where shit is going. It's like Nicki with her radio and all these stuff, all these artists, they're doing, applying different strategic methods to get their point across to people. And because Joe Budden did his podcast, I think that's why Eminem is doing this podcast, which is not a bad idea and with a legendary interviewer like DJ Sway. And they also touched on, he said he did not ban MGK from Sway or from anywhere. He did not call it on Interscope or anything. He's like, man, I got Puff number. I could call Puff straight up. I, ain't, I don't need nobody to get to Puff. I don't need Jimmy. I can get to Puff. So he's like, I did not try to blackball this kid. He's like, listening to this album, I felt pitiful for Kelly. He's like, man, I did not look at it as a diss. I felt pitiful for him. You know what I mean? He's like, lyrically, Kelly isn't shit. He's like, he's basically saying that Kelly rapping skills is below par. But we will see, man. I think if the fans want a diss song, he will respond to Kelly. But right now, Eminem says it in the interview. You can listen. And this is what he's insinuating to. He's not going to diss Kelly and then Joe Budden come dissing him. Now he'll be having to diss two people. Now that will be too much work. If you wait out and see who all is really about this shit, 
now you can attack and you could be more precise. And I feel like that's the right way to go about this shit. And I respect this shit. And I thank y'all for fucking with the channel. Remember to hit like, follow us.